So we are set. Alexis Arguello defending his lightweight championship against 20-year-old Ray Boom Boom Mancini from Youngstown, Ohio. Arguello with a vast amount of experience. The former WBA featherweight champion. He vacated that title. Moved up to super featherweight champion. Vacated that title. He captured the lightweight championship in his last fight in London with a 15-round decision over Jim Watt. Tony Perez, our referee, scheduled for 15. Mancini coming off a win on July the 19th of this year, 12-round decision over Jose Ramirez in defending his NABF lightweight championship. How will Mancini deal with the experience of the tough and decorated Arguello. Mancini known as Boom Boom All Action. Arguello dubbed the explosive thin man. A seven and a half inch reach advantage for Arguello. He's got those long arms. Mancini's going to have to work his way to the inside and then be busy. But will he taste too much of Arguello's power on the way in? Pro Mancini crowd, obviously, here in Atlantic City. Every punch he throws, whether it's blocked, missed, or connect. The fans are reacting. Will the judges be swayed? Arguello kind of feeling out Mancini here in round one. Pumping the jab out, not snapping it. Right hand to the body from the champion Arguello. See the time remaining here in round number one. Mancini constantly coming forward. Doubles up the left hand. Very patient first round. From the champion, Alexis Arguello. Set for the start of round number two. Good first round for the challenger, Mancini. He got the nickname Boom Boom from his father, Lenny Boom Boom Mancini, an outstanding amateur, top ranked contender during the 1940s, but his dream dashed when he was wounded in World War II. He is Young Ray's inspiration. Bell sounds to begin round number two. Alexis Arguello picking up the pace here in the second. Defending his WBC lightweight championship. Good left hand inside from the champion Arguello, his best punch of the fight. You almost get the sense that Arguello used round one to see and check out the hand speed of Mancini. Feel a little bit of his power. 
and then gauge a game plan off that. Lunging right, missed by the challenger Mancini. Goes upstairs with a left hook. Aguayo a bit more consistent with his jab here in the second. That lazy little left, and Mancini did not capitalize over the top. past the midway point of the second. There's a good right hand from Arguello. Arguello with a lot of power in that right hand. And he's carried it up in the different weight classes. Mancini lands a good shot of his own. Mancini turned professional on October the 18th of 1979. By that point, Arguello was working on a second weight division title. Chan of Boom Boom from the Youngstown Faithful. Mancini pressing the action. There's the end of round number two. Another good round for the challenger. Round number three underway. Alexis Arguello, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, scheduled for 15. Arguello's WBC lightweight championship on the line. His first defense of the lightweight title he captured back in June. Mancini has had some success through the first two rounds. It's been the busier of the two. The aggressor. But you know that Arguello, with all that experience, a champion in a third weight class, he's seen it all. He's been in against the best. We'll figure out the awkward head movement of Mancini. Good stiff jab there from the champion Arguello. A little blood from the nose of the challenger Mancini. does Arguello bring pop into the ring and power. Outstanding technician. Very traditional in his stance, in his form. Very effective. Doubles up the left. Snaps back the head of the challenger.
And Cheney's done a nice job working his way inside. Final seconds of round number three. Short little left from the champion Arguello. There's the bell to end the third. Mancini hanging tough. Those in the Mancini camp have to be pleased with his effort here in the first three rounds. Alexis Arguello turned pro in 1968. 20 seconds. August of 68. Mancini had not yet celebrated his seventh birthday. Round number four for Ray Mancini against Alexis Arguello. One other footnote to that story. When Arguello turned pro in 1968, he was knocked out in the first round in his pro debut. He's had quite a career since. So far, Mancini has done a nice job. Remaining busy, trying to work inside, trying to negate the reach advantage for Arguello. And Mancini letting his hands go on the inside. If you're going to do the work to get in there, you might as well have some fun once you get there. Good stiff jab from the challenger. Lenny Mancini looking on. Maybe living that world championship experience through his son. Midway point of the fourth. Arguello peppering out that jab. And Jimmy taps Arguello to the body. Arguello does such a nice job of turning away from some of these punches. The crowd will react when Mancini throws it. But Arguello, with that subtle movement, turns from it. As the power wanes in the punch. Can Mancini keep this work rate up for 15 rounds? Mancini steps in with a right to punctuate the fourth round. Near the end of the fourth round, Ray Mancini with a right hand to the chin of champion Alexis Arguello. That's how the fourth round ended. We start round number five from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Alexis Arguello making the first defense of his WBC lightweight championship against 20-year-old Ray Boom Boom Mancini from Youngstown, Ohio. 
Mancini has kept up a brisk pace through the first four. Arguello has yet to make Mancini pay for his hard charging ways. Mancini a little low with that right hand. Mancini's done a good job of fighting out of clinches. Referee Tony Perez has not been busy to this point. Mancini using a lot of head movement. Arguello not able to find him with that jab. Did there. Both men missing. Mancini steps forward, lands a combination. Good jab from Mancini. Aguayo blocked most of that. Mancini goes up top after tapping Aguayo in the belly. Aguayo shoots a right hand back. Good right hand from Mancini. Twenty-year-old Ray Boom Boom Mancini doing a very nice job against WBC lightweight champion veteran Alexis Arguello. Two five. Action from the fifth round. The left hand by Mancini scored. In the fifth round, Ray Mancini. Good left hand to the face of champion Alexis Arguello. Round number six underway. Mancini finding a very good fight against the champion Arguello. Been the busier of the two. He'll take one to land two. Will he pay for that? Chopping right from the champion Arguello. Get a sense every time Mancini leans in that Arguello at some point in this fight is going to make him pay. Arguello's too good to miss on some of these opportunities. Right hand to the body from Mancini. I have to say through the first five rounds, you'd be hard pressed to find more than one round for the champion Arguello.
Mancini again moving that head. Arguello having a hard time finding the target. Mancini gets on the inside. He's first. Mancini's done a nice job with his jab, too, although not always connecting, at least able to work his way in off the jab. Final half minute of the six. Arguello does a nice job fighting off the ropes. Keeping Mancini at bay. There's the bell to end round six. Champion Alexis Arguello. Struggling to get his offense going. This is the fifth fight of the year for Mancini. Round seven. Scheduled for 15. Good jab there by Arguello. Snap back the head of Mancini. City, New Jersey, the scene of this lightweight championship between Alexis Arguello and Ray Mancini. No knockdown so far in the fight. Now the man has been hurt. Mancini has kept a very busy pace through the first six. Been able to land some very clean shots to the jaw of Arguello. Always oh, pressing forward, Mancini. Chopping right from the champion, Arguello. Mancini does some nice body work. So many good trainers will say, despite the fact the fighter is giving up height and reach, should never abandon the jab, even if it's not landing. If he doubles up with it, he can work his way inside off that jab. Mancini has followed that plan. Fired a hook to the body, Arguello countered. Good right hand to the body by the champion, Arguello. Final half minute of the seventh. Arguello now backing Mancini up a little bit. Left hand from Mancini. Arguello shoots a right hand. Mancini goes to the body. Arguello makes a miss. There's the bell to end the seventh. Good fight plan right now by Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Against the more experienced Alexis Arguello. Round eight underway. Can Ray Mancini keep up the work rate?
Will Arguello start to back up the challenger with that jab? Mancini has tasted some clean shots from Arguello. He hasn't backed down. to like with the way the 20 year old Mancini has gone about his business. Giving away seven and a half inches of reach and tons of experience. Father Lenny looking on. What it would mean to have his son Boom Boom. We gave the nickname to. Bring the world championship. Home the young star. Just past the midway point of the eighth, which means the midway point of the scheduled 15 rounder. At this point, I have Mancini ahead. Five rounds to two. trying to double up with that left. Shoots a right hand to the body. Mancini presses forward. Nice combination from the champion Arguello. He finished it with the left to the head. doubling up his jab. Seems like Arguello's doing a better job of controlling distance here in the eighth with that long jab. Arguello first captured the featherweight championship back in 1974. The 13th round knockout of Ruben Olivares in California. Alexis Arguello, the featherweight, super featherweight, and now lightweight champion of the world. Round nine underway for Mancini and Arguello. Arguello making the first defense of his lightweight championship. But this 20-year-old from Youngstown, Ohio, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, 20-0, 15 knockouts. Has a good plan, and he's sticking with it, at least to now. Head movement. Motion. Pressing forward behind a double jab. Aguayo sticking out that jab. Not a lot behind it here. In the eighth. Check that the ninth. Mancini reaching, that could be dangerous against the experienced Arguello. Past the midway point of the ninth. Not 
neither man very accurate right now. Mancini trying to bore his way in with body shots. Good double left hand from the champion Arguello. Good left hand on the inside scored by Arguello. Snap back the head of the challenger Mancini. Back comes Boom Boom. Arguello and Mancini going toe to toe. Final 30 seconds of the night. Arguello just missing with that right hand, a right hand that could end this fight at any moment. Oh, and the heads come together. Clash of heads as the ninth round ends. See Mancini pressing forward. Number 10 underway for Arguello and Mancini. Mancini's been the busier of the two. He's pressed the action. Feeling out process in rounds one and two by Arguello. Did not do much. He's opened it up over the last couple of rounds. Good stiff jab by the champion Arguello. Little zip off the jab of Mancini. Arguello scores and dips away from danger. Another good jab from Arguello. The Mancini faithful from Youngstown, Ohio that have made the trip here to Atlantic City. Trying to urge him on. Heard the chant of boom boom in the background several times. A sharper round from Arguello. Good left hand by the champion. He's causing Mancini to miss more, and Arguello is scoring more. Arguello blocked the body shot from Mancini. Mancini didn't make the most of that opportunity inside just a minute ago. Would have allowed Arguello to get back outside where he can control distance. Good round 10 for the champion Alexis Arguello. Against Ray Boom Boom Mancini. A little bounce to the step of the champion as he heads to his corner.
Well, through 10 rounds, I have Mancini up six rounds to four. But Arguello seems to be getting stronger. One of the better punches in round 10 scored by Mancini, that right there. As we start the 11th. Atlantic City, New Jersey. Alexis Arguello making the first defense of his WBC lightweight championship against Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Mancini has been the busier of the two, the aggressor. But as the rounds go by, Arguello getting sharper. Arguello blocked that lunging left from the challenger Mancini. Defense by Arguello there, slipping. The left hook from Mancini. Good jab from the challenger. expect Mancini to be out jabbing Arguello. Done a very good job with the jab. Not always landing, but doubling it up, enabling him to get inside where he can score his power shots. from Arguello. Good stiff left jab from the champion. And again. Mancini missing with the combination. Anybody's round here in the 11th. Both men have had their moments. Right hand to the cheek from Arguello. I have the challenger up. By one point, six rounds to five, 105, 104. We start the 12th. Both men trying to unload right hands to start this 12th round. Scheduled for 15. Alexis Arguello defending his WBC lightweight championship for the first time. Mancini has come forward this entire fight. Aguayo has not been as sharp as I would have expected with the jab, although he's done some nice things with that left hand. Anytime Arguello just lays that jab out, Mancini's stepping through it. 
When he puts a little zip behind it, the sequence is unfolded better for the champion. Arguello stepped in with a nice right hand behind the jab. Twenty-year-old Mancini has shown a lot of poise here against the veteran Arguello. He's been aggressive, but not overly anxious as the two get tied up. Right hand up top by Mancini after a combination to the body. Left hand from the champion Arguello. Arguello letting some power go. Oh, Mancini got rocked there. Mancini got hurt. Referee Tony Perez takes a look, and that's the end of the 12th round. And Mancini's got to regroup here. Beautifully timed right hand by Arguello. Take another look at it. Mancini stepped right into it. And that knee touched the ground. That should be ruled a knockdown. And Arguello with a little spring to his step as we start the 13th. First time in Mancini's career, he's been past 12. He went 12 once before in his last fight. The champion Arguello has been past 12 on numerous occasions, including his last fight when he went all 15 in winning the title from Jim Watt. How does Mancini deal with that right hand at the end of the 12th? That briefly had a knee on the canvas. Arguello sensing blood. Mancini for the first time in this fight going backward. And that one punch has changed my scorecard. I now have Arguello up by a point through 12 rounds. Arguello the straighter of the two punches. To make him the more accurate of the two. And you saw the power. The explosive thin man showing some pop with that right hand again. They don't call these the championship rounds for nothing. Rounds 13, 14, and 15. Now Mancini in a retreat. Trying to steady himself. Another left hand by Arguello. Stop Mancini in his tracks. Not a lot of zip on that jab from the challenger, Mancini. The 20-year-old facing the first real adversity in his career. 
against a decorated champion like Alexis Arguello. Long right hand from Arguello just missed. Mancini looks tired. Seems to have lost that confidence. A right hand sends him to a knee at the end of the 12th. Arguello backing him up here in the 13th. So Alexis Arguello has turned this fight around. A right hand to the chin of Ray Mancini at the end of the 12th. And then Mancini on the retreat in the 13th. Fight had a slow start to it from Arguello's perspective. But he's turned it around here in the later rounds. Now can Mancini regroup? We start the 14th. A more zip from Mancini. He got knocked down so late in the 12th. Only had a minute to regroup. That was in survival mode in the 13th. Has the 20 year old body recuperated enough? Arguello in first defense of his lightweight championship. Good stiff left hand from Arguello. Mancini got on the inside, but now look, he's tying up or trying to tie up Arguello. Early in the fight, he was throwing punches. Mancini trying to press the action forward. Good combination by Arguello. Mancini's tasted the real power from Arguello. Midway point of the 14th. Left hand, right to the chest. Oh, and a right hand drops Mancini. And referee Tony Perez has stopped it. Alexis Arguello has stopped Ray Boom Boom Mancini in the 14th. And you can sense the power of Arguello from the end of that 12th round through the 13th and here in the 14th, taking over. He retains his WBC lightweight championship, his first defense of that title. The former featherweight, super featherweight, and current lightweight champion with an impressive effort against a very game 20-year-old Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Let's take a look at it again. Left hand to the chin, hurt Mancini, right to the chest. Left hand, and then watch this right hand here. Referee Perez was trying to stop it before that right hand even landed. That left cross hurt Mancini. Perez trying to step in, and Mancini took one more punch for good measure. Look, the left hand to the chin, that hurt Mancini right to the chest, left cross. Mancini's out on his feet, and then a right hand for good measure. And Alexis Arguello keeps his championship. He struggled at times, but wins it. Here on the 14th. Our ring announcer is Ed Darian. 
We are awaiting the official time of the stoppage. Six seconds of the 14th round. The winner from Bally's Park Place Casino Hotel and still the WBC lightweight champion, Alexei Arguello. Arguello.